to Meeks Tarot. So if you're new to my channel, I do pick a card readings and these are all timeless. So whenever you find this video, it's meant for you. But today we're going to do a pick a card reading. We're going to see what your next sexual encounter is. Or for some of you, this may be like your first sexual encounter and see what's going to happen. See all the juicy details. And this is an 18 plus reading. So if you're not, if you're, if you're not 18 or older, please exit the video because my videos, I think all of them, are not supposed to be for people under 18. So yeah, let's get started. So we got three options. Okay, we're going to start off with option one as the sexual dice. <laughs> Option two is this little fluffy guy, or option three is some strawberry stuff. <laughs> okay, so we got option one is the dice, option two is the fluffy wand, or option three is strawberry lube. <laughs> So if you want to pause the video and choose whichever pile you feel most called to and I'll see you guys at your pile. Bye! Hello, this is for everybody that chose option one or the dice, the body part dice. So today we're going to see what your next sexual encounter is or maybe what your first sexual encounter is. So this is 18 plus so if you're not 18 or older please leave the video because we're going to get into some details. So first we're going to see who this is with. So I'm going to be using my new deck that I created. This is the relationship deck. So let's see who this is going to be with. I keep hearing spontaneous. So this person is either spontaneous or The time that you sleep with this person is going to be spontaneous, like very unexpected. So let's see, who is this for pile one? Okay, this person really likes kissing. Um, I see them wanting to be very touchy with you, wanting to make out with you a lot <laughs> and start kissing your neck. Um, this person may also like giving massages. I feel like their love language is just physical touch for sure. Okay, first card we have is fight. So this could be <laughs> this could be with someone that you like had a fight with and this person wants to make up for it or like, yeah, like, maybe even while you two are in the middle of fighting over something, this person, like, makes a move towards you and, like, they kiss you, like, maybe while you're in the middle of, like, yelling at them. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Who is this with pile one? Yeah, ended badly. This could be someone that you ended things badly with. This person could have cheated or there could have been some kind of third party. But I feel like this person is going to be coming in back into your life very soon if they haven't already. And this person wants to make up for whatever has happened. <laughs> okay, um, for some of my personal readings, I say this, like, <laughs> your person may have, like, Energizer Bunny type of vibes, like this person. Once they get started, like, they don't want to stop when it comes to the bedroom. Um, I f also feel like they really like pleasing you, or they want to please you. Like, both. They want to please you because things ended badly. Like, they want to be on good terms with you, and this person also wants to just make you feel good. This could be something maybe that they did that they feel guilty for. Uh... And I, like, they want to make up for it. This person really likes your lips. This person really likes your tone of voice, too. 
They also think you're very smart. Yeah, this person's gonna be expressing their love to you. Um, maybe, it, I feel like for some of you it could be verbally, but they are gonna be showing you. <laughs> okay, so let's do the tarot cards. <laughs> okay, so... Pile of Wands, next or first sexual encounter. There's something about like your neck and hickeys and kissing like this person just wants to go to town on you like I don't feel like they'll be able to like resist themselves when it comes to you. Maybe you two haven't seen each other in a while. This could be like an ex. This could be maybe someone, oh I heard divorce, you could be divorced from this person or there's just some kind of separation. This person like wants to get so touchy with you. I'm also seeing that maybe for a few of you, like the last time you two hung out, um, you did do something more physical together. Like maybe you two made out together. Seeing, <laughs> um, maybe you gave this person a hand job or a blow job or. There was definitely maybe something kind of intimate in the past for a couple of you and this person is really turned on by it but like since that has happened there's been a disagreement or separation. Yeah this person wants to see you naked. Um, for some of you this person like is gonna want you to ride them or like they want to ride you like this person wants to go to town on you this person doesn't want to hold back any longer I feel like they've been holding a lot of things back emotionally and sexually this person finds you really fucking hot <laughs> we have two of swords yeah th this card even looks like he's like apologizing to her with um, roses this person also feels like maybe you're a bit hard to get or they have a hard time reading you but there could be like something that you give away or something that you say or maybe you're gonna be the first one to make some kind of move or s I'm seeing like you may say something to this person and they're gonna be like oh my gosh this person like really likes me like now is my chance and I see them <laughs> taking that opportunity. Again, there's a lot of touching that this person wants to do. This person, I see them like grabbing your chest area for the feminines, like grabbing your breasts, grabbing your ass, just grabbing whatever they can. I feel like this person also wants to try all the positions. Yeah, we have the death card, so there's like some kind of ending that you two had and this person like this person just wants to fuck really bad <laughs> okay we got the star for some of you this person could have a foot fetish there's something about like giving you a massage or massaging a certain part of your body Both of you could maybe be the same, I'm seeing the same zodiac sign or like you have something similar in your chart or this person maybe is into like spiritual things or like you're teaching them about spiritual things. They feel like you have a lot of knowledge on something in particular. Person feels like you're like a goddess or a god. Like they wouldn't be able to find anyone else like you. I also see that um, this person. I guess we're talking about your next sexual encounter. So for some of you, this could be maybe like <laughs> I'm seeing water. So maybe you go to like 
the beach with this person and something happens at the beach, you do end up fucking on the beach. <laughs> or um, for others, maybe you're, you go camping and there's like a pond nearby. Or maybe this is after some kind of trip where there was water. Uh, for some of you, this is like after maybe you two fully expressed your emotions to each other. I see like maybe one or both of you crying and just letting things out to the other person. This person also really likes your hair. <laughs> this person just wants to keep telling you like things that they like about you so that may be something that they're going to be doing in the bedroom. Yeah, this person's going to be like vocalizing maybe how tight you are, how wet you are, how big you are, how hard you are. <laughs> we got the high priestess. Yeah, you're like top tier type of shit. Like the sex with this person is going to be like something you never experienced before. Something this person has never experienced before. If you already slept with this person, like you both know that the sex together is like amazing. I also see you two just having a lot of fun in the bedroom. Um, <laughs> for some of you, maybe you um, make jokes or like laugh together. Yes, one of you could be moving on from a person or situation from the past. Or just both of you moving on from a past situation together so that you two can have a better relationship. <laughs> There's a lot of nature. This person could be also an earth sign. Hearing Taurus and Virgo. If not an earth sign, like this person just wants things to be grounded with you. They want things to be stable. I'm also hearing I miss you. So this person misses you. This person may also really like to cuddle. I see you two cuddling. If you feel like you don't know this person, um, this may not be your pile because it feels like you already... For most of you, you already know this person, or things already ended with this person, or there's some kind of separation. Yeah, this person wants to kiss you everywhere. I see them kissing your legs, your thighs, your arms, your chest area, your stomach. This person like, wants to worship your body. Okay, so let's get more into the details of the sex. So, I see that this person is going to be like starting off more romantic. It's going to be more slow. This person's, again, going to be touching and kissing you everywhere, leaving you hickeys on your neck. Ooh, okay, this person wants to hear you moan. I'm hearing like soft sexual moans both of you like moaning um if you're a feminine watching i see them like really doing things with your breasts like sucking and playing with them and like it's making you moan it's making you really wet down there It's like this person knows where to kiss and where to touch to make you moan. <laughs> this person, like, they could have experience or they just have experience with you. And, like, they know the spots to hit with you. If you're a masculine watching, I'm seeing this person giving you really good, like, hand jobs or blow jobs. Like this person knows how to like go to town down there. This person knows how to like, <laughs> they may do something like, <laughs> okay, 
they may do something like with your with your balls like they know how to play with them or like cup them just right it's like they know how to do things down there just right this person also uses like their mouth and their hand like <laughs> You or this person could have a beard. I'm seeing like when this person like kisses you, especially if it's down there and they have a beard, it like, I don't know why, but it's like more of a turn on, like you can feel their beard down there. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Um, yeah, there's something with hair. Maybe you or this person isn't gonna be, maybe shaved down there, but something about it is just really really hot but anyways I see this person like starting out very slow and things getting more intense and this person wanting to like speed up things I see them moving you around and like trying out different positions this person like I see them having you on your back and then flipping you over, having you on your stomach. I, okay, for some of you, this could, this person could really like your ass. This person wants to do different things with your ass. They may want to put it in in your ass, or like, maybe eat your ass out or something. This person also really loves the shape of your body. I see them like going faster and faster towards the end and like them finishing or both of you finishing together okay one or both of you may finish multiple times I'm seeing I feel like the feminine may finish multiple times or at least the masculine is gonna try and make the feminine finish multiple times and I see you two, there's something with water, so either taking a bath together, or taking a shower together. Okay, and you two may... <laughs> okay, so you may do it in the bed, and then you go and like rinse off because you both are all sweaty. You go to the shower, the bath, and then it seems like you guys do it again in the bath or the shower, or some kind of body of water. <laughs> Maybe this is, okay, for someone this is really like at a lake or something. I don't feel like there's people at the lake. <laughs> it's just like you two. But, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, but then I see you guys, I don't think you both finish in the shower. I think you like start messing around again in the shower, like in the water, and then get out. And then you go back to the bed and then you like both finish <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing for pile one hope that resonated for you guys <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that and if you're interested in a personal reading link is down below bye guys hello this is for everyone that chose pile two or the fluffy wand so today we're gonna see your next or your first sexual encounter so if you haven't slept with anyone this may be your first sexual encounter and this is gonna get very in-depth so this is an 18 plus reading so if you're not at least 18 please leave the video because this is not appropriate <laughs> okay so let's get started first I'm gonna use my new deck that I created this is the relationship deck we're gonna see who this is first I'm hearing crush, so this could be a crush. Maybe you have a crush on this person, or this person has a crush on you, or both. <laughs> you both have a crush on each other. I also feel like you both get nervous around each other. Someone may have a hard time like talking when they're around their person. Yeah, I'm hearing like stuttering. So who is this for pile of two? Okay, this is like for a few people. Um, you may have felt called to another pile, like pile one, I'm feeling like. 
So you may have more than one sexual encounter in the near future. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This is for pile two. Ooh, dang, we got soulmates. Is this was their next sexual encounter? Something about um, sleeping. Maybe you or this person doesn't sleep very well or has like a weird sleep schedule. We have missing them. So for some of you, <coughs> this feels like someone that you already know of and for like the other half it feels like someone that you haven't met yet so yeah I see that you're gonna be going on dates with this person this person it feels like to you no to both of you like you both really like each other Seeing a lot of dates, like going out to eat in the movies. You have childhood wounds. You and this person could have a child. Um, if not that, this person I feel like is very nurturing, uh, very caring. Also hearing outgoing, so they could be very outgoing. Or you're outgoing. Yeah, I feel like both of you are going to be like nervous around each other. <laughs> this is giving me the vibe like, you know how some girls like go out on dates and like <laughs> when you're nervous around a guy like sometimes you're nervous to like eat in front of them so you'll take like really small bites. At least that's how I used to be. <laughs> Where you just don't want to look dumb in front of this person. I feel like both of you are like nervous around each other. You don't want to look dumb. Okay, let's see. What is this? We're piled two. For a couple of you, this could be someone that you reconnect with. It almost feels like um, this could be like a friend of a friend, like some kind of mutual friend that you two end up meeting. Uh, you could even meet this person out at a restaurant or somewhere that has food or drinks. This person, I see them like hinting their feelings towards you. <laughs> it's like you both know that... It almost feels like you both know that you like each other, but like may take a while for one or both of you to make a move. This could be something that has been ongoing. Yeah, like I said, for some of you, you already know this person. You could be separated from them. Okay, so let's do the tarot cards and see what those say. Okay. The energy feels different with compared to pile one. It feels like more quieter. It almost feels like a secret crush or a secret admirer. Like you two finally get together or something finally happens. Or someone finally talks. Okay, what is Pile 2's next or first sexual encounter? I'm feeling that you or this person could be, I keep hearing Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, or you could have that in your chart. Someone in here, I don't know if it's both of you, are shy. <laughs> Yeah, this is giving me like, um, maybe you're nervous to, <laughs> someone may be nervous to like take their clothes off in front of you. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands. We also have the Chariot.
Let me pull some more cards. For some of you, this could be like you two end up drinking together um, or doing something where you're not you're not sober and I feel like one thing just leads to the next like someone may start taking off their clothes and then next thing you know you both are kissing you both are touching each other <laughs> also hearing they could be older than you we got five of swords for a couple of you, this person could be a bit insecure about their body and like I see a lot of nervous energy like this person's like nervous to like show you their body this person may be a bit nervous to touch you it's like they hesitate a bit they want to know that you're like feeling the same way you got nine of chalices so I definitely see like Maybe you two having a conversation and then things slowly leading to sleeping together. But it feels like it's a bit like slower. Like things don't things don't seem to be moving too fast when it comes to this. It's like I see someone like having a conversation with their person and then you two like start kissing a bit and then you two like slowly take off each other's clothes. This person like wants to be gentle with you. For someone on here you may actually be pregnant. Maybe that's why this person wants to be gentle with you. <clears throat> or they feel like they just don't want to mess things up with you for some of you they could have involved you in a third party situation if not that I feel like this person just wants you to know that they are interested in you it's like they want to reassure you that there's no one else for them. Feels like very passionate romantic sex. You have temperance. Okay, I would be careful because I feel like this person may want to get you pregnant. <laughs> There's something about pregnancy or like having kids. They could see having maybe a family with you or having kids with you. This person could have dark hair, like brown or black. Could be very short. I'm also hearing S and M, so this person could have like two sides to them. There's like one very soft, nurturing side. And then once you two, like, maybe sleep together more, or in this first time, if you two, like, get in the bedroom, like, this person has a bit of a kinky side to them. <laughs> this person may like involving toys. This person also likes to ask, like, how you're feeling, if you like it. They want to know if they should go faster or slower this person like wants to know exactly what you like so that they can do that for you okay let's see their next or first sexual encounter I feel like I keep whispering too so maybe you guys are gonna be out at a place where you have to be quiet or be somewhere where you have to be quiet it's giving me like maybe you're at like your parents house or something <laughs> that you have to be quiet or this person could just be soft-spoken we have the hanged man in reverse yeah this person may like 
bringing in like ropes or chains or whips or something. <laughs> Maybe they feel like you are very quiet and shy and they kind of want to get you out of your box or see what it's like they're curious on what you're interested in. Okay, like I was saying, like I was saying, um, this person wants to be more dominant in the bedroom. I feel like <laughs> this, pure, this person's like curious about you. They could also be into um, role playing. Okay, let's, let's see. I just keep feeling like one of you is like hesitating or shy or nervous and like the other one's trying to open you up a bit or open this person up a bit more. Maybe this is like a friend that you've never done anything with or this for some of you maybe you're like a virgin and like you don't really know exactly what to do in the bedroom so this person is like guiding you this person overall just feels like they're very caring very gentle with you I see like them helping <laughs> you take off your clothes this person's kissing you kissing your your neck and they are making out with you and this person's like laying you down or putting you in a position that they feel like you would like. If you're the feminine watching, I see that this person's like going to lay you down on your back. This person doesn't want to go too fast though, like they want things to be nice and gentle with you. I'm hearing like until you get the hang of it, so... I also see someone putting up their hair. <laughs> um, I feel like if you haven't slept with anyone, this feels like a feminine energy is like gonna try like doing a blow job or hand job or like try doing something on your person. This person's gonna enjoy it. I feel like this person may know that you haven't slept with anyone or you could have told this person. Or you could have just told this person that you haven't really been with too many people. Seems like this person has like a lot of experience or if not that, like... Yeah, it just seems like this person like knows what they're doing. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else. I see you two, like, afterwards falling asleep together. We're doing something where you two don't really talk, so maybe this is like watching a movie. Or just, like, cuddling and watching a movie. For some of you, this could be, like, you having to head home <laughs> right after. Or this person has to leave right after. I don't see you two spending or at least talking much afterwards. For some of you, this person may have something that's big. <laughs> so this person, let's say maybe they have a big D-I-C-K or maybe this person has big breasts or big ass or there could be something big about them. I feel like this person is just going to be like and on seeing you naked or just having the chance to be with you. This could be maybe someone that you're with currently. Maybe you two just haven't slept together in a while. <laughs> this person just wants to be intimate with you. They definitely want to keep it more in a relaxing level. like. They don't want to get too crazy. Maybe this is like after work or something. 
But yeah, that's what I'm seeing for Proud 2. Hope that resonated for you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye. Well, this is for everybody that chose Pile 3 or the Strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see what your next or your first sexual encounter is. So I'm gonna get very in depth. So this is an 18 plus. And if you don't want to hear this kind of stuff, like, don't watch it. And if you're not at least 18, don't watch it. Just don't, okay? <laughs> okay, so first we're going to use my relationship tarot deck. This is one that I created. Um, it should be for sale soon. But we're going to see who this is first. And we'll go from there. This is, okay, I heard Little House on the Prairie. Maybe someone has a little house. Maybe somebody likes that show. Uh, something about a homestead. A farm, maybe. Maybe you look like, <laughs> maybe someone looks like Laura Ingalls or one of the characters from that show. I'm not too sure. Okay, so it's Pile Threes next or first sexual encounter we have not feeling confident yeah, I'm hearing um, they have to take a risk you have meeting the one this person may have to take a risk on you they may have to leave something or someone behind person may have to step out of their comfort zone yeah we have holding back Ooh, we have breakup so this could be an ex or this could be someone that you had some kind of falling out with for some of you this is like someone that's currently with another person but I see them breaking up with them and then coming back to you hearing you or this person could be a water sign. Okay. I heard like holding back an orgasm, so Okay, for some of you, this is like someone that's already in a relationship or currently in a relationship and like they find you oh my goodness. They find you hotter than the person that they're with. And this person like wants to fuck you really bad. Yeah, look at that love triangle. They could be involved with a karmic. <laughs> or maybe you're involved with a karmic. Um, maybe this is someone that you have an eye your eye on. I wanted to say an eye on, so you could have someone else watching this person, or maybe this person has like one of their friends or something watching you. We have honesty, so this person wants to be honest with you. Yeah, we have closed off emotions. person could have showed you like red flags in the past or maybe they're showing you some kind of red flag right now something just ain't feeling too good about this connection currently this could be someone that doesn't want any strings attached they could just want to sleep with you for a few of you for others this is how it was in the past like there wasn't going on like intimately or like emotionally you two weren't connecting on a deeper level together it could have just been strictly sex like friends with benefits okay, let's see what else Pile three okay so we have seven of pentacles You have six of chalices. Yeah, look at this. Like, this is someone that 
This could also be someone that's getting over another person. Like maybe they already broke up with this person and they're like still healing from someone else. Or you're still healing from someone else. Either way, it feels like one of you is or was involved with another person. Yeah, this person could suffer with uh, depression. Or some kind of anxiety maybe okay we have six of wands I'm gonna cover that <laughs> we have temperance okay so pile three is next sexual encounter the number six could be significant so this could happen maybe in six days six weeks on the six um, of a month maybe it's been like six days or six weeks since you talked to this person or they've been dating someone else for that long or something for some of you this is like someone that wants to just sleep with you honestly um, and like go back to this other person after they sleep with you we have the fool for others. This is like, yeah, this person wants their, oh my goodness, this person wants their needs met. This person has a lot of sexual urges towards you, but just be careful because I feel like for some of you, this person like doesn't want to leave someone else and they just want to include you in some kind of way and not fully move on from someone or something from their past okay, so I feel like this person has your next sexual encounter so I feel like this person has some things built up inside them <laughs> I do feel like this person gets very turned on by you so they have a lot of sexual tension built up for you it also feels like they have maybe some anger or some depression or like things that frustrate them that's also building up inside too. So this person like wants to come and like not take it out on you but like let some of that steam out when you two sleep together. This person could really like doggy style I'm seeing. Um, they like to see the curve of your back, the curve of your spine, they like to see your ass, your legs. This person may like want to bend you over somewhere or you may want to bend this person over. Something about, um, I forgot what that position's called where the guy or the masculine is like laying down and then the feminine's on top but she's facing away from him. I don't know, either way, um, this person may want to like ride you or you may want to ride them. I'm also hearing like a lot of music so I see like uh, you two playing music or there being music in the background. This definitely feels like at someone's house. It feels like somewhere where you two are both comfortable. This could also be on the couch. <laughs> you two may end up doing it on the couch. For someone, this is like seeing a vision of like New York City in those big ass windows and you don't have curtains or like shades or anything so you two just like fuck in front of the window and like people can see you so maybe that's for someone um, this person may also have a lot of money or maybe you have a lot of money or someone has a really nice place okay so let's get into more details 
so for the feminines I feel like this person's gonna make you very wet down there I see that this person likes to go down on you this person likes to do a lot of things with their tongue Um, you may also sit on this person's face <laughs> wearing the doja cat thing <laughs> Where she likes guys that have big noses because she could sit on them um, For the masculines that are watching I feel like this feminine she likes to show things off so she may like show what she's wearing underneath their clothes or it's almost like giving you sneak peeks of things to excite you and then like the feminine like really going <laughs> to town when they see you in person or some of you this person could send you like nudes or like sexy pictures or you two, there's something about a phone, maybe you two like sex each other or something and like the tension builds up and then you two are like able to express what you've been saying to each other. There's something about <laughs> this person, there could be other people around you or like in other parts of the, the house or in other rooms where you two have to be a bit quiet. Someone also has a big painting like right above their bed or a big there's like a big canvas or a big picture frame of something above their bed. For a couple of you this is like this person sneaked you over or like you sneaked them over maybe your your kids are home or someone else is home again take what resonates leave the rest cause this feels like it's a bunch of different energies <laughs> this could also happen uh, around fall time or like right when it's starting to get a bit colder outside Okay, so let me pull some more cards. Yeah, I don't know. I keep getting messages like there's gonna be some people that feel like maybe this is something you two should not be doing. For a couple of you, this person could be married or in a connection or something. Or maybe their friends just feel like it's they shouldn't be with you or you shouldn't be with them or something like that. There's like other people involved, it seems like. They could have just very judgmental friends, <laughs> or you do. We have King of Wands. And this is almost giving me the energy like this person may try and hide this connection or like hide you from the world for some reason. This person also likes, um, to cuddle naked or just be with you while you both are in the nude. Okay, let's see what else. I'm seeing like you both are naked, but then maybe you're still wearing your socks or like <laughs> there's still some piece of clothing on you two because maybe you're in a rush or like someone could come into the room and you two will have to like change really fast or something. <laughs> okay, we got nine of wands in reverse. This person could have long eyelashes. Like I said earlier, maybe a, a bigger nose. You find this person very hot and this person finds you very hot. We have ten of pentacles and one of chat or ace of chalices. Yeah, this is how I keep envisioning you guys like cuddling together and sleeping together like this and like 
fucking together like this like you both are naked and there's sheets over both of you but like you're still wearing your socks or you're still wearing some piece of clothing maybe you're still wearing your bra or your boxers or something it almost feels like you both don't have much time to do this or again for some of you maybe you feel like you're gonna get caught this could be if you're with this person like dating them this could be like maybe you two just don't have much time right now maybe it's like before work or after work you both are tired but like you want to get that urge out so you both fuck <laughs> we got ace or eight of swords and look at they're both on a couch like i said so definitely could be on a couch but look in the background there's like that weird thing in the that weird guy in the background so maybe you guys are doing it fast because i don't know you could get caught or something i don't know <laughs> this person could also work out um they could be very strong this could also be someone that you usually hook up with or you have one night stands with yeah, that's what I see for pile three. Hope that resonated for you guys. And I'll see you later. Bye.